Ako po si Bianca O'Malley, and um, I am an actor. I am also an advocate for breast cancer, and um, I'm also a daughter to my mom who I lost to breast cancer. I'm sure the Angeles is a poor patient. At bigyan po ng pagkakataon para masail ko po ang aking buhay sa pagkakaroon ng breast screening, hopefully cancer-free. Ako naman po si Trixie Chanco. Ako po ay isang doktor. Ako rin po ay nag-specialize sa cancer medicine. And um, kami po yung nag-umpisa ng programa para po makascreen ng mga kababaihan natin. At ako rin po ay isang nanay sa aking apat na anak. Nice to meet you both po. Nice to meet you the to meet you. Pagka po naririnig niyo yung salitang breast cancer, ano yung naiisip niyo? Yung first thing that comes to your mind. Sa akin po scary, mabubuhay ba ako? Paano na ako gagastos nito? Ano mangyayari sa pamilya ko? Lahat po maaalala natin yan. Sunod-sunod na. Sunod-sunod na po yan para po yung of events, a thoughts. Oh, no? The overthinking. Yeah. Yeah. How about you, Bianca? When I hear about um, breast cancer, the first word that comes to mind is misinformation. There are so much um, misinformation out there. Ngayon na tumatanda ako, na-realize ko how important it is to know the fact and to know so much about what you feel and to put attention to yourself. I hear you both. No, um, Speaking of facts, in our effort to remove misinformation, which really is, shall we call the enemy, breast cancer is, is a scary word. And, and I've been in practice for over 20 years and I can see the fear in the faces of my patients. I know, uh, surely in your case, you're not sure yet, right? Nakabayab silang sa inyo. Um, we're very happy that you're with us now and that, um, you know, we are able to help you. So no matter where it brings you, we'll be here for Thank you. Thank you. So, but breast cancer really is because it's a very common cancer. Everyone knows mm-hmm. with the word cancer. Uh, and the reason everyone knows it is it affects the lives of so many people, whether you're the patient or your best friend or your, your relative suffers from it or is touched by it. Um, you know that it, it can change. It's life-changing. Right? It, has, it has changed your lives. Uh, knock on wood, it has changed mine in a way that I'm able to uh, help others, and that's really what uh, I, I, I like to do. Breast cancer is a cancer, it's a disease that comes in many stages. Uh, when it's diagnosed, uh, it can be diagnosed in an early or a late stage. Uh, and it is curable, um, especially if caught early. Uh, and so um, that's the importance of being informed and empowered. You have your story to tell. Yes. You might want to share it with us. Opo. Um, so the reason, Doc, that I am part of this today is because, um, as I have mentioned, I lost my mom to breast cancer when I was five years old. And um, the reason why I'm so passionate about this is because I remember um, how I felt at that stage of my mom's life and my life. Even if you were only five years old? Yes, po eh. um, though, of course, growing up, it wasn't clear kasi siguro hindi ko pa talaga naiintindihan. But as I grow old, mas nagiging malinaw sa akin yung, um, yung events. And now I understand that when my mom was going through cancer, so she, she found out that she had breast cancer when she was 44 and she was already at stage 3. Um, so... It was too late um, at some point. Um, and yes, uh, to have cancer in general is never cheap mm-hmm. as well, you know. So my mom had to go through chemotherapy, wherein in chemotherapy, no, doc, iba pa rin, mm-hmm. time na yun, it wasn't as 
advanced and it, what do you call this? It wasn't as um, precise. precise as it is today. So um, it wasn't expensive and we really did lose a lot just to save her. Um, but remembering that um, my mom, of course, I, I saw her. She was slowly getting weaker and weaker. Mm -hmm. She lost her hair. And um, it came to a point where and my mom was not able to talk. Um, she was in and out of the hospital. Um, but then dumating din yung point na hindi na siya nakatayo, hindi na rin siya nakalabas ng bahay. So whenever she wanted to be at home with us, we had to bring the whole hospital room yeah. inside the house and all of that. And being the youngest uh, daughter um, in the family, I wasn't allowed to be with her because um, of all the medical things inside the house, of all the medicine. And sometimes she would just come out fresh from um, radio uh, therapy. So I wasn't allowed to be around her because I couldn't be exposed. Um, but of course, being a five-year-old, I did not understand that. The only thing in my head at that time was that I think my mommy didn't love me anymore. Because, sure, as a five-year-old, all I wanted to do was to claim my mom. All, it was just her that I saw. Um, but then I, I was always told that I was allowed in the room. I couldn't be close to her. And every time I would come close to her, she would face the other way. And now that I'm at this age, Doc, I realize na kaya siya tumatalikod sa akin ng mga oras na yun because siguro naiiyak siya siya. Because she didn't want me to see her in any way. Because my mom is very beautiful and she was a dentist, Doc. So her smile is just really magical. And I think it's just sad for her na nakikita namin siya na. Mm. This is why uh, I remember all of that noon kasi there's no education about it, Doc. Yeah. And that's what's, that's what's sad. Um, as a young girl noon, ngayon ko lang ito naiintindihan na unti-unti ko nang sinadya na magbasa and matuto. But what if I didn't have the... What if hindi ako nagkusa na matuto about it, yeah. to read about it, to learn about all of, the, all of these things? How will I know? Oh. And... This is, that's what I want to do. I want to be able to share um, the education and the information that I could with the platforms that I am blessed with. Oh. Um, and that's peer. That's why I want to be part of uh, breast cancer today. That's why I want to be part of, you know, us fighting against oh. the disease. And ang sarap dof na I'm able to be with you strong women who are, you know, so passionate about helping other women as well. Um, I have been surrounded with such strong women in my family. Um, and I think I I want to stay this way. Because mm -hmm. that has such a strong impact. She must be smiling. I was like, <laughs> your mom was really yeah. smiling. This is she, it is with us right here. She is the, actually, I'm wearing her watch. Mm -hmm. This is her, so she is with, with us. Piece of her. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm sure she, she loved you. That's why she turned away. You know, she was probably crying every time. Yeah. It was really hard. It felt as if I was robbed of the last moments that I could have had with my mom. If there's anyone watching who's five years old, <laughs> you know, uh, with, with a mom or a parent uh, who you think doesn't love you because they're sick, in behalf of your parents that they love you. If there's something that you cannot understand, you, you, you get scared of it or you get hurt from it. Yes. Right? I mean, you could have been spared of all of that hurt, you know. Um, but then, uh, there are reasons for all of us going through difficulties in our lives, I think. Um, but in, in your case, probably it's to help others, which is what you're certainly doing now. Sabi nila, there will be a free mammogram. So, kinuha ang mga pangalan namin, then dinala kami sa munisipyo. I was surprised. I thought, 
bakit sa municipio? Eh, mga mo, girl, then nakita ko yung band na Hope Mobile. Oh, this is the one. So my sister-in-law was telling me, no, to do the, ano, yung pagpapaano nga. Pagpapaano nga. Because sabi niya, you just take the herbal medicine. Oh my God. Baka yan magising. Yung mga cells niya magising. Everyone knows naman na meron naman test na pwede mo malaman kung meron kang cancer or wala. Why is it that these women do not undergo uh, this test when it, it can only, it doesn't harm you? For someone like me who, so we end up because I, I lost my mom to breast cancer and when she found out, it was already stage three. My question is, since she's my mom, is it in my genes? Is it, how, how big is the percentage of me having it right. in me? Thank you.